My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am reviewing Roja Parfum's Oligarch against Tere de Hermes. And I've got both the Pure Perfume and the EDT because I'm not sure which one there's a similarity to. So we'll know as we go along. First thing I've got to say is the color is pretty much dead on exactly the same. So I'm very curious. This is, I think, is just under 400. I think this is 100, something like that. So on one arm, I'm going to do the Roja. On the other hand, I'm going to do the other two. First off, there, there is a difference in the way the perfume is. So this one feels wet, more sort of intense. That perfume is much finer. And then we'll do it on this side. So there's a difference in the feel. Initially, no, there is similarity, but it's not the same. There's more bergamot in uh, Roger's perfume. They are so similar. Yeah, I'm going to be honest in all of this. The Trader Hermes both are quite a radiant on my skin, which I find when I tested it initially. I was quite surprised at, just surprised, because the construction of the perfume doesn't rely around. At fixed is a must, but it's radiant. There is a tea note in the Trader Hermes. It's substantially more in the EDT than in the Parfum. The Roja fragrance is smoother. It has a beautiful smoothness to it. it just smells more natural, finished, rounder. The other fragrances smell more vibrant. To me, it smells like both contain similar in construction, but sort of the composition is jiggled around to give it a different feel. Roja is smoothing out the fragrance with muscone, Raw materials and Lily of the Valley raw materials. That is a really nice way to smooth. The tea note is quite strong, but this is very vibrant. It still smells very vibrant and very, very clean, it's sort of vibrating of my skin. It's more life and energy to it. But the Roja fragrance smells smoother. Roja's fragrance, the bergamot is the top note. I like bergamot. Lemon is the top note in this fragrance. Both are cedarwood based fragrances. As it's drying down and they're becoming quite difficult. To separate between the two if I'm very honest with you and I believe after a few hours you would struggle to separate the two the roundness is lovely I love rounder fragrances have been round beautifully it's more like a wall more substantial on to my final thoughts I'm not gonna do a final mark or anything I'm gonna pick what I like on what I don't like about it so what i love about the rosa fragrance is the smoothness the choice of naturals the construction I, I like it it smells like they've taken the original and sort of smoothed it slightly added a few more raw materials the projection of this is better but it's kind of drying down almost identical i think if you put both on and got someone to say which is the 400 pound fragrance which is the 100 pound fragrance they wouldn't be able to distinguish between the two after a few hours i think initially you can for the first sort of like bit you absolutely can tell the difference in sort of construction the vibrancy the smoothness i love i think it's i really really love it but this i can smell you know this i can sort of smell as a wall both are very nice I like both. I think both are excellent for the price. I think really, really well constructed. This is my problem. And I'm gonna, I was talking about it this morning and I'm going to say it. There's nothing wrong with a perfumer loving another company's work. And there's nothing wrong with the perfumer taking the work and twisting it and putting their spin on it and doing something different with it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And I think if you love something, I think there's, as long as you're honest about it, you see. That's what I personally what I what I feel. But the price difference is just kind of kicking me, you know. It's like you get with the Roja perfume, you get beautiful packaging, beautiful perfumery, but it's so similar. But this I can smell. This is vibrant off my skin. It smells very vibrant and woody. This is like um dry down, heavy. I can't distinguish between which I prefer. Both have sort of merits and both have things that I consider I don't particularly like. The Roja fragrance isn't vibrant, this is vibrant. Uh, the Roja fragrance is smooth, be beautifully smooth. This is not sort of smooth, it's much, much more sort of like vibrant and spiky, herbaceous, strong. I prefer the Roja fragrance, but for 400 pounds, it's kind of, kind of a bit out there, isn't it? But for the price, I think it's excellent. And so I think the the winner of this battle is gonna be the Trader Hermes fragrance, purely because of the price. 
purely because of the longevity, purely because of the vibrancy, purely because of the sillage, all that sort of stuff. That's really what I look for in a fragrance is kind of to get the really high marks. I think you really need to take the construction and put it into where you get the longevity, the projection, the sillage, all of that stuff. You kind of really need it. And 400 pounds when it's dried flat and you can't really smell it. For me, what I consider in my opinion, a little bit of a, a little bit problematic but I think it's a very beautiful uh, smell. So love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.